my name is Katie Davidson, and today I'm going to be showing you five methods you can use to add booking calendars to your website. The first two methods are very easy, and they're great if you just need to be able to schedule one-on-one -on -one meetings with your clients. The last three methods are ideal if you want to be able to take payments for your meetings, or if you have more complicated meetings such as multiple attendees, or if you have multiple people on your staff who need meetings booked with them. Sometimes all you need is to be able to share your calendar with someone so you can see when your calendars will line up. If that's the case, Google Calendar is a perfectly fine option. To embed Google Calendar on your website, open up your Google Calendar and then click on the cog in the upper right hand corner. Click on settings and scroll until you find the calendar you want. Make sure that you've set your access permissions to make available public. You can choose whether or not you want the full details of each of your events available or just free slash busy. You could just grab a shareable link here, but if you want to embed it on your website, click over here on integrate calendar and find this embed code. I'm going to copy this iframe code and head over to my website. In WordPress, you'll need to switch from visual over to text and paste the embed code. I'll click preview and show you how the calendar looks. You can see it's a little bit clunky and that's mostly because all of my events are all day but this works in a pinch. If I head back over to Google Calendar, there are some customization options I could try. For example, I could set the default view to week, I could set the height, and I could set my colors or any of these other options. Once I've made any modifications I want, I'd simply copy this full code and then paste it into the calendar where I wanted it. That's already looking a lot better. If you want something a little more professional than Google Calendar, Calendly can be a great option. It's free as long as you only have one type of event and one recipient of that event. This makes it a great option for me to use for one-on-one -on -one meetings with people in Boulder. Here you can see my available days, and somebody can click on a specific day and see what times are available. So you can see I'm available in the morning and then not again until mid-afternoon. Calendly makes it really easy to embed a calendar. If you're just using the free option, you can embed your full calendar by going into your account and clicking on the calendar link up here, and then click on share your link. Click on embed on your website, and then you're given three options. You can either do inline, which will put a full embedded calendar on your website. You can do a pop-up, where when somebody clicks on a button, a calendar will pop up. Or you can do a pop-up text. When somebody clicks on a text link, they can book an event with you. Let me show you how to do an inline calendar. I simply click on copy code, head over to the page I want to add the calendar. I need to make sure that I'm using the text and not the visual composer. Let's preview. Here you can see a great looking calendar that makes it easy for your customers to see when your next available appointment is. Calendly has some paid options, but if you're going to go the paid route, I recommend Acuity. Acuity is a great option if you need intake forms 
or if you have multiple consultants that will need appointments booked, or if you just need something a little more in depth than what Calendly has to offer. They have different pricing plans ranging from free, which would give you essentially the same level of service as Calendly. At $25 a month, they have some pretty great features, including subscriptions or appointment packages and gift certificates. Offering subscriptions or appointment packages can turn just a one-off appointment into much more revenue, so this is a great feature if appointments are a big part of your business, but you're not ready for a fully integrated system. To add an Acuity calendar to your website, simply go down to the client scheduling page and scroll down until you see direct links and embedding. You'll see four different options for adding links to your website. You could do a direct link. You can embed a full scheduler, which is similar to what we did with Google Calendar or Calendly. You can have a booking button or you can have a booking bar, which goes at the top of your web page and is a cool way to let customers book an appointment. Let's do the standard way where we simply copy this code and then we're going to go over to our website and add it again. I need to switch from visual to text and paste it here. When we click preview, you'll see a fantastic looking calendar where customers can select one or multiple times or even schedule recurring. You can have really in-depth intake forms and at the higher price points, Acuity actually has HIPAA compliant forms you can have on your website. If a monthly subscription is something that's going to eat up your budget, a WordPress plugin is a great option. Birchpress is a powerful tool that makes it easy for you to book appointments of all sorts. It looks a little ugly out of the box, but with your theme customization and a little bit of extra CSS, this is a powerful tool that I would recommend for any growing business. You can customize the booking page as much as you want, collect any relevant information that you'll need, and it integrates with different types of billing systems to make it easy for you to get paid. Birchpress is just a one-time fee there's also a free version if you need something simple on your website. But again, in that case, I would recommend going with Calendly. I would recommend Birchpress if bookings aren't a main aspect of your business, but they're important and a fairly steady stream of revenue. If bookings are the main source of income for your business, I highly recommend going with a theme that's built around booking. Whenever I look for a theme, I always make sure that I find one that has stellar reviews and has lots of downloads. So if you had a travel booking website, this option here has a ton of great reviews and it's been downloaded thousands of times. My number one recommendation for a booking theme is this entrepreneur booking for small businesses theme by Theme Motivation. Not sure how to say that name. Theme motivation? It's built around the plugin Booked and WooCommerce, and it's built to be used with Elementor. So not only do you get a fully integrated booking website, you can customize your website without needing to know any coding. The entrepreneur theme comes with several different pre-made templates that you can use on your website which gives you a great starting point so you don't need to build something from scratch. Once you find a demo you like, you'd simply need to change out your colors and add images that would be appropriate to your business. The booking calendar within it is fantastic. It makes it easy to book an appointment and the preloaded features make it easy for you to make money with your bookings online. Which option are you going to use? 
I'd love to hear how you're going to use a booking calendar on your website and what type of business you have. I'm always fascinated by all the amazing small businesses and entrepreneurs out there. And if you're interested in more strategies to help your business grow, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I have great videos that come out every Tuesday. Until next time.